The stomach is where all the stuff we eat goes to be digested. It secretes a number of acidic juices and enzymes that help break down the food, deriving energy in the process. The stomach contains many things, but one of the most interesting is gastric acid. Also refers to as stomach acid or gastric juice, it is a digestive fluid that forms in the stomach and consists of hydrochloric acid, sodium chloride, and potassium chloride. This acid is produced by the cells present in the lining of the stomach, which produce the acid after receiving a signal from the feedback systems to which they're attached. These feedback systems monitor the pH levels of the stomach and trigger the acid-producing cells when required. The primary function of gastric acid is to aid in digestion by activating pepsinogen into pepsin, an enzyme that breaks down proteins via the bonds linking amino acids. You might already know that the acidity of a liquid is determined by its pH value. The pH scale is a numeric scale used to determine the acidity or basicity of a given solution. The values on the pH scale range from 1 to 14. A solution with a high pH value is basic in nature, whereas one with a low value is considered acidic. The normal pH of the human stomach ranges from 1 to 3 and usually sits right around 2. However, if you've recently eaten, the pH increases by a point or two to about 4 or 5. An empty stomach already holds a small amount of water, so if you drink 1 liter of water, the pH of your stomach, which has been stationary at 2, would increase a little more. This leads to the gradual dilution of gastric acid. However, we're talking about human organs, which means that an explanation is rarely so straightforward. When the gastric juice is becoming diluted, something known as the buffer capacity of the stomach steps in. This is the amount of hydrochloric acid your body needs to release to lower the pH to 3 if it increases above this value, usually after eating food or drinking too much water. In other words, when you drink too much water, buffering molecules inside your stomach begin losing protons, which increases the number of free protons in the system. Furthermore, there are cells in the stomach that identify when there is too little or too much acidity in the stomach. In effect, these buffering molecules ensure that there is a minimal amount of variation in the stomach's normal gastric pH. In a way, you could say that the stomach takes care of itself. Drinking a liter of water will make your stomach slightly less acidic, but not for long, as our stomach uses these critical organic pumps that not only get rid of extra acid in our belly, but also increase the acidity of the stomach to normal levels.